Hello everybody and welcome back to our Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2. Uh, I am Nerdstalgic and hopefully I will not burble. <laughs> I love that word, burble. But whenever you say it, you have to use some kind of a a British accent of some sort. If 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 you know you could call what I just did a British accent, burbling, seashell burbling peasant. I can't even remember where that's from. Um, but I think <laughs> I saw that in some some game or some video. I don't know. Let me let me look this up. Cease your burbling peasant. I don't know. I just googled it and it said cease, including results for cease your gurgling peasant. Hmm. I don't know. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I just really thought it was funny. Maybe I'm just weird. I am weird. Anyways. Okay, so hopefully, yeah, I won't, won't talk. I'm, I'm doing a bad job. I'm off to a bad start. I've, I've spent a minute already talking. Okay, so let's, uh, let's keep spying on him. I mean, we're going to keep spying on him because we don't really have anything else that we want to do. So, I mean, we could, you know, switch, switch focus. You know, but what focus would we switch to at this point? I mean... Uh, carousing would be kind of useless. Family, I don't really, I don't really care too much about. I mean, the fertility is dead at this point. Health would keep this guy alive longer, but he doesn't really have any claims. Um, war, we're not really, I mean, yeah, I would love to go to war at some point in time in the near future, but again, we don't have any claims. We've already done hunting. We can't do, can't get the dog twice. Seduction has no appeal to me. Um, you know, scholarship we could do, and we could build the, we could do this, and we could build the observatory, which we could get some nice tech points from. Hmm. Uh, theology, no thanks. Uh, and that leaves business and rulership, which we could get some nice events from to get us some gold and some prestige, uh, mainly gold. With the added uh, bonus, <laughs> I guess in this situation of making this guy stressed out so he dies faster. Because there is a point at which you, you kind of want your king to kick off so that you can go ahead and, and get a little further down the line. Because um, if... Now, I'm not 100% I'm not sure on this, but um, I think... Say this guy... This is my grandson. He's already 21. And he can have kids. And I think when his kids come of age, I don't know that we'll be able to... Well, actually, I think with maybe with the changes in Conclave, we might still be able to uh, take a hand in their education. But I think it used to be that once your grandkids had kids, even if they were still at your court, I don't think that you got to mess with them. I don't think you got to pick their educator, but I could be completely wrong. Anyways, as you can see... Oh, yeah, we made this guy a monk because he was plotting to kill his dad. Yeah, and he wasn't really even very good. Yeah, this guy right here, he's attractive, he's ambitious. He is stressed out. Hmm. Stubborn. Stubborn. Uh, you know what? Stubborn does give you a negative, but it gives you some stewardship, which I'm, I guess I'm okay with. I don't know. He's temperate. Rowdy. Maybe he'll become brawny. That's what we're looking for is brawny there. Uh, so I think we're just going to stick with this because we'd really like to get this guy out of power. Really would. Um, and he's still not married, which is pretty weird. I don't know, I guess we could just try to go ahead and kill him. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, really? Yeah, it's gonna. if he finds out, it pisses him off and then he decides that he's going to faction against us. We'd have to change him away from our spy master. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, my granddaughter could be a better spy master than him already. Well, not better, but, you know, pretty close. If he were to find out that we were trying to kill him. Let's see. Uh, okay, let's... Yeah, let's go ahead and plot to kill him. 90% chance... That's not taking into... I don't think that's taking into account people that we could maybe bribe. So we're just going to go ahead and load up here. On people who are willing to come into the plot. Really? That's it? Wow, nobody nobody that's bribable. 
Okay, well, uh, and then we'll hope maybe that'll fire off. I don't know. We'll see. And if he if he discovers it and gets the negative opinion, then we will just swap over to a different spy master. So we're not gonna swap out, swap him out just yet because that's the only skill he's any good at, and he is a powerful vassal. So, but once he figures it out, the jig's gonna be up. Okay, uh, where, where are we gonna get these tech points? Economy, cool. What's going on? Okay, my liege may live in harmony and contentment, an intriguing scheme. I believe I will indeed back your plot to kill Earl Olav of Ermumain. What? Oh. Okay, so this is a random event that you can get to improve your intrigue, which I'm surprised that we haven't seen any before, but uh, it dawns on you one day that there is plenty of intrigue happening right under your nose. Your servants, from the kitchen maids to the stable boys, share juicy gossip each other on a daily basis if you want to improve at this twisted game of manipulation and deceit then perhaps you ought to dive in and join the prattle uh so you can say never you can say never and try to do something else but i'm gonna go ahead and just jump in said and done okay so he's gonna back it good now you know the more people that we invite in the more chance that somebody's going to blubber about it you know, I think when we get up to a thousand gold this time, I think I'm actually going to pay off the Jewish moneylenders. What's this? Uh, Donald Dunkeld wants to marry a courtier. Same courtier. Sisuil. Everybody wants to marry her. It's probably because she has a weak claim on Desmond Main. I decline. She doesn't have good scores, and her, her, you know, her traits aren't any good. No, oh, I'm sure he's up to something. Okay. So, uh, improvement to the relation uh, of the Pope, right? Yes. Okay. okay, my cousin has had a child. Congratulations. Taking part in the gossip sessions of your servants has proved an enlightening experience. Not only have you learned of new ways to obtain sensitive information, but also that one of the milkmaids is secretly carrying the blacksmith's unborn child. Oh, the scandal. So we gained two intrigue. Wow. That's pretty good. My liege peasants attacked me while collecting taxes in Twadbemain. They wounded me severely and I barely escaped their wrath. So this is a random event that can happen uh, whenever you're collecting taxes. It's uh, peasants tax stewards. So that was a 2% chance to happen and it did. So uh, he could die. We do lose 10 prestige out of that, which kind of stinks, but uh, he'll probably be fine. But, he, you know, I've had stewards die because of that before. Young Grain, 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 has finished her education in the ways of faith and learning. It seems she has learned all the basic skills required, so she just became a dutiful cleric. Oh, and she's in jail. That's probably why she didn't do too well in her studies, is because, well, it's hard to see whenever you're in a jail cell. Okay, this is my grandson who I am warding. It says he loves doing things his own way and often takes it personally and gets angry when others offer opinions. So we can let him become paranoid or we can make him diligent. Well, this is a no-brainer. Uh, we're going to change that fussy into diligent. And it became charitable and he became paranoid. That's got to be a bug. That's got to be a bug. So maybe I don't need to intervene on things. Maybe maybe that's the problem. It seems like when I intervene, it's bugging out. Which is kind of shitty. Oh, wow, we actually are getting raided by Vikings. Really? That's amazing. Swedish Pagan. Wow. Wow, okay, so the there is out of all the people, he raids me. Okay, well, so be it, brother. Let's raise them levies. So what we're gonna do here, we don't want to raise levies here, and if we just click this button, it's going to raise some troops there. Uh so we are going to raise personal levies, but we're gonna hold down control. And that will raise the levies everywhere that we are not, or that he is not. So we're gonna move over here, and then we're just gonna roll over and stomp him. 
I really did not expect to have any uh, Vikings. Seeing as how, by this point in the game, um, the Germanic religions are pretty much gone. So, let's move our retinue back over there. So what's our plot up to? 75.7. Huh. So they will not back the plot because... Moral qualms, okay. Uh, moral qualms, and he doesn't like me. Uh, and this guy is amoral. <laughs> He's an amoral bishop, uh, but he doesn't like me a whole lot. If he liked me more, he would definitely go in on it. Man, this guy is a tough nut to crack. Uh oh. I have found out nothing new and useful about Earl Olav of Urbamain, but, as my shady informant pointed out, there's nothing preventing me from making stuff up. The bigger the lie. So we could, uh, we could say, how about a classic? He takes little boys to bed. So he would get, uh, Earl Olav would gain vicious rumors until, you know, five years from now. General opinion negative 10, but 225% chance that he finds out I started the rumors. Wow. No, I need something real, or no, I think it's time to spy on someone else. We're going to say no, I need something real. So that's a good sign, though, that we actually uh, had an event pop up other than the, you know, I can't find anything out about him. Okay, who is this? Oh, yeah, by the Prince of Norway that I married uh, my daughter to. They had a child named uh, Nuadu. Oh, he's... In, oh yeah, we invited him to court. <laughs> We've got the Prince of Norway in our court. That's pretty funny. Alright, so once we get up to a thousand gold, we are going to pay off the Jewish moneylenders. Which should help the uh, opinion of those bishops. Maybe, maybe it will be enough to get that other bishop in. Repay the loan. Boom. 350 gold. So you borrow 300, then you have to pay 350 back. But there's no like you know ticking interest or anything. It just it just is. Wow, I completely forgot that we had all of these uh, all these prisoners. We have a king in our prison, King Catherine of the Isles. Uh, <laughs> he is now possessed. Well, let's ransom him. Ten gold. What? Okay, whatever. Is there anybody else? Uh, no, not really. Who's this? My grandson, who has a weak claim on the Kingdom of England. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's make you... You know what? Let's make you strong. Let's try to make him strong. Do, 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 do. So there's ten gold in our pocket. Is there anybody else that we can ransom? It doesn't look like it. It looks like everybody else is unimportant. So let's, you know what? Let's just release everybody else except for Todd. I always like to leave one person in my prison. I've, I've talked about this before, but I like to leave one person in prison so that we can get a chance to get the random event where we resist our foul impulses and gain some piety. Uh, no, we're, we're, he's up to something. We know it. It may not be that he takes little boys to bed, but he's up to something. Bishop Aranok of Sildalua. Let everyone know about my plot to kill Earl Olav of Ermamain during a drunken stupor at the local tavern. I never should have included that drunken blabbermouth in a plot this delicate. So now he is going to uh, find out about it. So let's see what happens to the opinion. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's a pretty big swing. It's a 150 point swing. Um, negative 200. So now what we're going to do is we are going to have to take him off the council. I mean, it's just... It's going to have to happen. He's going to be at negative 100 uh, opinion of us. So we're going to put uh, Muirn on the council. And we're actually going to have her uh, go here. 
And this might work out better anyways, because now this plot's going to gain some power. I mean, it's still not over 100, so it probably won't fire. And uh, there's also the chance that we could uncover some corruption there, which would work out really well. Now, he, he probably will get up to some no good now, uh, if I had to imagine. Yeah, he's at negative 100. He's super pissed off. Um, my lord, we have received news that Earl Olav Ermumain has chosen to go into hiding in order to try to foil a plot against his life. So now he is in hiding. So We probably will... Oh, see, there it was right there. Uh, your wisdom, and mercy, are legendary. I've discovered a plot where Earl Olaf of Ermumain seeks to fabricate a claim on the petty kingdom of Mumu. So, immediately, boom, uh, we caught him trying to fabricate a claim, which we can imprison him for. But ideally, what we want to do here is we want uh, him to. Uh, we don't want to catch him. Yeah, thirty-three percent chance, but he's in hiding. Oh. Because he's in hiding, we can't imprison him. Can we revoke his title? No. So I guess maybe we have to... Maybe we need to stop trying to kill him. And maybe what we need to do is let him come out of hiding. So we can try to catch him. So let's end this plot. Yeah, we don't, no, we don't want to demand he ends his plot. Uh, otherwise, then we could not righteously imprison him. So we're gonna we're gonna stop our plot instead. And um, oh, actually, we could just do this right here. So let's uh, and we would have a backer. All we need is one backer. So that's what we're gonna actually try to do. Let's um, let's try to get this one. And we are only going to need, I think, one backer. We can look and see here. It says plot backers at least one, uh, plot power at least 80%. Well, our plot power is already over 80%, so really all we need is a backer. It wouldn't even matter if this percent was one. It just means you know we just have to have one person who says, yeah, that's true. He, it does belong to him. Okay, so we're going to let, uh, let that person join it, and then we're going to fire that off. And uh, <clears throat> actually, what... Since we're not actually we're not declaring war, but he may refuse to allow us to take that land from him, we're going to call up our levies and get them together on top of one of his counties. And this is kind of a shady way to uh, squash his army really fast. Okay, so he is backing the plot. We're gonna wait until everybody's together over his county here, and um, and we're gonna merge everybody up. And you can see we've got commanders in place, we've got full morale. We're going to fire this decision off and see what he says. He may he may acquiesce, he may say, okay, fine, I don't want bloodshed, you can have it. Or he may say, you know what, war it is, which is good because then we can uh, we win the war, we take it anyways. He's a traitor, and then we can revoke Os Rage too, I think. Okay, Fursu has dragged his unfaithful spouse for sinned before me and insists I should punish her. Hmm. Uh, same thing, we're going to uh, lock her in the stock. Boom. Your shameful attempt at blackmail has not succeeded. No matter how corrupted, how, you, how many corrupted souls you've enticed to help carry out your plan, I will not give in without a fight. What is rightfully mine is mine. So we're going to go to war with him. This is actually what we're kind of hoping for. Uh, King Brian the Fat has declared King Brian the Fat's war to revoke Ermumain on Earl Olaf of Ermumain. So uh, we will just split in half and take the bigger unit and go squash it. Squash his army. And we'll siege out both counties and this should go fairly quickly. Uh, we captured a mayor. That's cool. He will not ha should not have enough troops to siege anything. Uh, Earl Olaf is no longer present in the realm so there's no further point in my spying. Exactly. I, you know, I should have done that a long time ago actually, which I think what we will do, uh, we're going to go ahead and swap over to, you know, I'm tempted to go business, even though it gives you less stewardship, just to try to debase the mint. Um, debasing the mint is an event that you can get, and it happens pretty, fires off pretty frequently, uh, where you can, 
basically make some fake gold coins and you get money and prestige for it inevitably you will get caught and you will lose uh, more prestige than you actually made but you get to keep the gold and I like that I like gold so hmm. um, rulership has some good stuff too though you know what let's go rulership I like rulership yep and now we can even hold another county just from bumping it up that little bit. So let's, uh, this should be a pretty quick war. We'll finish out this war and then we will, uh, then we'll probably put a cut in. I wish I'd have done this a long time ago. There's no telling how long I actually could have, you know, been revoking that uh, out from underneath him. <clears throat> Young Fedach, Fedach seems to have a lot of independent opinions uh, and refuses to listen. So we can make him patient or we can um, let him be cynical, which stinks. Well, let's see what happens. Because I would rather him be patient, of course. This is what we've been doing. So if this is a bug, what's going to happen is when we click this, he's not going to become patient. Oh, it says chance of becoming patient. Oh. So it's not 100%. Maybe it's not a bug. Nah, he didn't become patient. Oh, I'm not even looking at the right guy. I was looking at me. Duh. And I died in the middle of a war. Um, that's okay. We got a pretty nice mustache. And this guy's actually better in most ways than our previous ruler was. His marshal's a little bit lower, so we're going to probably go hunting focused, get that hunting dog. And then we might switch out of hunting and go learning focus to get the tower. And then who knows where we'll go there. So let's go ahead and focus up with hunting. And see. Uh, no. Okay, spy master. You can be the spy master. Uh, make sure it stays paused. Okay, good. Um, so be it. You know what, let's... We don't really need you doing that anymore, so let's just have you study technology uh, in Middlesex, and we need a court chaplain. So we will go with... You know what, let's go with Armalgade here. Put him on the council. And send him to Rome. Roma. The papacy. Rest of our council likes us pretty well. I mean, we've got a pretty decent character here, and he has a he has a, a large amount of prestige to start out with. So, right now his heir is this guy who is pretty. Oh man, dull. I mean, he's still got decent stats, but he's dull. That's freaking terrible. Well, on the plus side, the inheritance is already pretty secure. Because she's almost out of age, childbearing age, so that's good. Oh man, that really stinks that he's dull. Well, anyways, so we want to make him our designated regent. We want to make him our cupbearer. Yeah. The reason he got dull is because that is something that can happen when you go martial focus. Uh, Rowdy can become dull instead of becoming brawny like we wanted it to. He is a skilled tactician. He's not a brilliant strategist, which stinks, but... So our council is going to be discontent. That's fine. They all like us fairly well, so they probably will not faction. We can do Paragon of Virtue, or we could do King of Ireland. Let's do King of Ireland, because we probably will become King of Ireland with this guy. Righteous Imprisonment. So I guess he's out of hiding now. I actually know he's still in hiding. And then unmarried heir. So Ruman, Ruman, which is kind of funny that his dull picture is a cow because uh, ruminate means to like, you know, think about something, but anyways, ruminate, chew the cud. Yeah, it's a leap, I know. Uh, we'd really like to hook him up with somebody who's a genius or quick. 
You know what? I'm, I'm going to go straight genius here. I want a genius. So let's search all for females, not in prison, not married, my religion, culture, any culture. Genius. No, really? No geniuses? How are there no geniuses? Strong? Plenty of strong. Plenty of quick, just no geniuses. That is ridiculous. What about my religion group? I mean, there's some geniuses there in the iconoclast faith. Or orthodox, I'm sorry. But I don't think that we could marry her. Can we? She's too far away. She's out of diplomatic range. What about her? No, out of diplomatic range. She's a Myophysite. Anatolia, that's really far away, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's that's lame. Um, well, barring that, I guess strong. Let's see if there's any strong here. Strong. There are. Daughter of a Baroness, half sister of a Count. Daughter of a Bishop. Quarter. Quarter. She's a, she's quick. She's strong and quick. She's kind of old. But they could get to the baby making, you know, pretty quick. She's also quick, but she's too old. Um, oh wow, strong, quick, but homosexual. So that's kind of, kind of almost bounces out though, because strong is a plus ten to fertility. Homosexual is a negative fifteen, so it's actually only a negative. Oh, she's chaste too. All right, so never mind. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with. I think I'm going to go with Ashild here, even though she's a little older. Um, she's a little bit older, but we could always maybe go like seduction around and seduce somebody and have a kid with geniuses that way. Or we could always just divorce her. She is the aunt of a count, so we, and we would lose zero prestige, so we'll go with that. For him. So, what else do we got here? Is that it? I think that's it. Married into an old woman. Okay. Well, you know, I was wanting to finish this war, but this episode's going on pretty long. So, I guess we're gonna put a cut in there, and in the next episode, we should be able to finish this war up. So, thank you guys so much for joining me, and until next time, game on.